Before we hop into the video, we are doing a giveaway. We're giving away $1,000 worth of Amazon gift cards and an iPhone 11 Pro. To enter, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and comment down below something interesting that you found in the video. And to better your chances, come back to future videos that we release and do the same thing over there. What NBA players really think of LaMelo Ball, Stephen Curry, Lonzo Ball, and more? Not many NBA draft prospects have polarized fans of the game like LaMelo Ball. Whether it be his decision to skip college and play pro overseas, his dad's media antics, or his unconventional jump shot and half-court jumpers, the youngest Ball brother is no stranger to critics early on in his career. LaMelo has shown plenty of promise in his first six games for the Charlotte Hornets, averaging 11.5 points, 4 assists, and 42% from the field and cooking up opponents with his range and passing skills. So what do current and former players think of his game? Keep watching to find out. Luka Doncic Dallas Mavericks star Luka Doncic knows what it's like to face doubters after starting his pro career at just 16 years old with Real Madrid. Critics said he was slow, overweight, and overrated after he dominated softer competition in the EuroLeague. Since being picked third overall in the 2018 draft, though, Luka has reminded fans that stardom overseas can translate to big-time success in the NBA. The 21-year-old phenomenon took home Rookie of the Year and All-Rookie First Team honors in his debut year, before lighting the league up again in 2020, earning All-Star appearance, All-NBA First Team honors, and a reputation as one of the brightest young stars in the game. So far, his career in Dallas has proven old stereotypes about European players wrong and made the Mavs a contender in the Western Conference once again. But it looks like another former Euro baller is about to make waves in the NBA. LaMelo put on a clinic against Luka's Mavs on December 30th, putting up 22 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists in a blowout win for the Hornets on the road. Luka had this to say about the 19-year-old phenomenon after the game. Quote, He's great. He had a great game today, too. They keep giving him more and more chances to prove himself, and I think he's going to be great in his league. End quote. Let's hope we get to see plenty of Luka vs. LaMelo matchups in the years to come. Kevin Durant Brooklyn Nets superstar Kevin Durant knows what it's like to live up to high expectations and prove doubters wrong. KD earned Big 12 Player of the Year, first-time All-American and Naismith Player of the Year awards in his first and only season at Texas, before going second in the 2007 draft. Two bad NBA scouts saw more upside in Greg Oden, the dominant seven-footer at Ohio State, who saw his career get derailed by injuries before he could reach his full potential. The Blazers' front office is still kicking itself over that one. KD proved scouts wrong right away, winning Rookie of the Year and becoming one of the most dominant scorers in league history within a few seasons. Today, the 10-time All-Star has two rings, an MVP, and two Finals MVPs to settle the debate over who should have been drafted first that year. NBA fans also know KD for his petty social media burner accounts and outspokenness in the media. When fans on Twitter dogged LaMelo for getting a Lamborghini for his 16th birthday back in 2017, KD came to his defense, tweeting, quote, You don't have to struggle growing up to be a good basketball player. End quote. KD went on to say this about the youngest ball brother in an interview with Overtime. Quote, he can shoot from anywhere. I love his game because he's skilled. And he's more athletic than he was a year ago. Just need to keep learning the game, man. End quote. That's high praise coming from one of the league's best. Lonzo Ball. Few players know LaMelo's game better than his older brother, Lonzo. As the first ball brother to play in the NBA, Lonzo also faced plenty of scrutiny and hype after playing just one season at UCLA and breaking the school's single-season assist record while he's still young. Lonzo has mostly undelivered on the potential most scouts saw in him going into the league and struggled to find his stride in his first two seasons with the Lakers. However, Lonzo may have found a place he belongs in New Orleans, where he earned career-high numbers in three-point percentage, points per game, and games played in 2019, drafted just one spot above LaMelo. Lonzo will look to put little brother in his place once the Hornets and Pelicans play in 2021. During an appearance on the J.J. Redick podcast, Lonzo said LaMelo should expect a tough game. Quote, I know his game pretty well, so it might be a tough night for him. End quote. We can't wait to see this sibling rivalry play out. Stephen Curry. We may not have a LaMelo ball if there was never a Stephen Curry. Whether you love his game or hate it, there's no denying that Steph has changed the game of basketball for years to come, creating the blueprint for players that are deadly 
from the perimeter and sometimes half court. Curry's use of space and off ball movements have paved the way for daring shooters like LaMelo and Trey Young to become threats in today's league rather than just a gimmick. Steph also grew up with high expectations coming from a basketball family. His dad, Del Curry, was a sniper during his 16 year stint in the league and gifted both Steph and his brother Seth with the art of shooting the basketball. Steph blossomed into a household name at Davidson and would later become the cornerstone of a Warriors dynasty that made the finals five straight seasons. But because of Steph's size, physique, and play style, many said his game would never translate well to the pros. By the time Curry racked up three title seasons, two MVPs, and six all-star appearances, most doubters had their minds changed on what really matters in winning basketball games. LaMelo is five inches taller than Steph, but reminded us all of him in 2016, when a viral video surfaced of LaMelo pointing at half court, calling his shot, and sinking it. Quote, that was some confidence right there. The fact that he made it, I wonder if he's done it before and missed it. It's the highlight-driven generation, so that right there was pretty unbelievable, though. For him to call a shot like Babe Ruth and knock it down and act like nothing happened, so shout out to him, end quote. Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward is coming off a rough past couple of seasons, but hopes to get back to all-star form with LaMelo and the Hornets. Hayward had a shaky comeback with the Celtics, following a nasty leg injury in his first game for the season 2017. He missed game after game due to multiple injuries, and overall struggled to fit on a team loaded with young talents like Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Last month, he shocked the league by opting out of his contract for an even bigger paycheck with MJ's Hornets, $120 million over four years. That's a lot of money for a guy who missed over 100 games over the past three seasons. Early into the season, Hayward said he thinks LaMelo is the real deal. Quote, I have ultimate confidence in LaMelo. I think he's going to be a great player this year and for many, many years, and a great player in this league, and so I think he'll be all right. End quote. Trey Young. Another young guard with Curry range, the Atlanta Hawks' Trey Young is a star the franchise will want to build around for years to come. However, the Hawks' front office is probably still kicking itself for dishing Luka to the Mavericks in exchange for Young and another first-rounder on draft night, a move that will most likely end up shaping the course of NBA history. The former Oklahoma Sooner star got to see LaMelo's talent up close during closed scrimmages last summer at UCLA and tweeted this afterwards, quote, Lil Bro at Melo D one up is next up. End quote. Watching the Hawks square up against the Hornets might actually be fun to watch for the first time in a long time. Charles Barkley, NBA analyst and Hall of Famer Charles Barkley, has never shied away from giving hot takes, especially when it comes to LeVar Ball and family. Known for his reactionary opinions, Charles has had plenty to say about LeVar's antics in the past. In 2017, he called LeVar out as a father saying, quote, everybody talking about how he might be a good father, this and that. No, he's not. He's just exploiting his kids. He's all about big baller brand. He has no foreseeable talent. He's trying to make money off his kids, and I just feel sadness for those kids because they're going to do whatever he tells them to do, end quote. With that said, it'll be a while before Sir Charles gives LaMelo any props. The hype around LaMelo got even bigger after he scored 92 points in 2017 as a sophomore for Chino Hills, going 30 for 39 on two-pointer and 7 for 22 from 3. But in true Barkley fashion, the former star criticized the 16-year-old's defense on ESPN Radio. Quote, you know, the kid was waiting at half court most of the game, never went back on defense. So I had a problem with that, to be honest with you. Go look at the game. The kid waited at the other end of the court and just every time the other team shot the ball, they just threw to him at half court or three quarters of the court. I have a serious problem with that, to be honest with you. End quote. Maybe Charles will ease up on LaMelo after he continues to prove himself in a league loaded with young talent. Kenny Smith. If you've watched NBA basketball over the last 20 years, you know who Kenny Smith is. As a former player and a longtime analyst for Inside the NBA on TNT, Smith has seen the rise and fall of countless stars throughout the league history and tends to be a good judge of young talent going forward. He's not as loud or abrasive as his co-hosts Charles Barkley and Shaq, but Kenny is a veteran of the game and played on multiple championship contending teams, including the 94 and 95 Rockets. Here's what Kenny had to say when 
asked about the young rookie in a New York Post interview over the summer. Quote, LaMelo Ball, he may be able to have your building be electric if his potential pans out. End quote. Final thoughts. It may be too early to tell, but current and former NBA players seem to think LaMelo's ceiling is sky high. Whether he starts the rest of the year out slow like his brother or stays on his current hot streak, it should be interesting to see how his career and his game continue to evolve. For now, stay tuned to Up Next Sports for more NBA news and gossip.